schedule appointment tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about calendly and how you can use it to schedule your appointments and your meetings so having said that let's just jump into it so this is the website right here as you can see calendly.com and as you can see it's pretty simple it's very easy and it's very user friendly for those of you who don't know calendly is basically a software that is used to manage your meetings your your calendar so it basically helps you stay organized so now that you know a little bit about it let's just quickly go ahead and sign up so the sign up process is very simple all you have to do is enter in your email address over here and click on sign up button over here as you can see you can create a free account no credit card is required which is pretty amazing so as you can see once you enter in your email address you can go ahead and sign up but i'm gonna go ahead and sign up with google because i think it's very very easy plus it'll help me to you know add in my calendar and stuff like that which is very very essential for calendly and i'm going to show you how you can do that in just a matter of seconds so over here this is going to be your basically your setting up process over here you can set all of these things up later on if you want to or you can go ahead and continue with right now so i'm just simply going to go ahead and click on continue and i'll show you how you can do all of that later on and over here this is your availability you can go ahead and set your availability to let calendly know when you're typically available to accept meetings and stuff like that so basically uh i think this is pretty good nine to five monday to friday saturday and sundays are off so we'll go ahead and click on continue and over here you can see what day-to-day -day role you are most comfortable with so over here we have freelance plus consultant education sales marketing interview scheduling leader entrepreneur whatever you want so for me i'm gonna go ahead and click on freelance plus consultant click on finish and over here as you can see that's it that's all you had to do now you have signed up onto calendly and you're over here onto your dashboard so let's just go ahead and close that up and over here as you can see we already have a meeting over here which is basically set up by calendly to let us know so the main thing that we first need to do is we need to go ahead and go into our account and start setting up things over there because that is how we'll basically be, you know get to calendly and understand how the software really works so over here click on your account and over here click on account settings over here this is going to be a profile you can go ahead and see everything over here and see if everything is correct so your name your language your date format your country and whatever so once you, everything looks correct go over to your branding over here you can go ahead and upload your logo for your brand if you have one if you don't you can leave it blank it doesn't really matter but if you have one it is very very essential that you upload it it'll help you look more professional and organized later on down the road and then you have my link now over here this is going to be your link which people are going to be you know clicking on to see how if you work so you can go ahead and change this link as you want so calendly.com slash is going to be your name or whatever you choose so let's just go ahead and say continuum all right so for now as you can see it's not available so we'll just go ahead and change it to another name okay so over here as you can see it this is available but it's pretty long so let me just go ahead and change it to when media i think that looks pretty cool small simple it's really nice so once that is done just simply click on save changes and after that you have your login option over here you have your account that you can log in with google whatever you want you have your cookie settings you can change whatever you want and once you have done everything over here go back over to your account and click on your account and over here what we want to do next is go over to calendar connections now this is very very crucial this is one of the most important things that you need to do on calendly is basically connect a calendar to your account this is basically going to help you get more organized so over here as you can see i've already added in my calendar that's only because you know i signed up with google i didn't have to manually add it but if you didn't all you have to do is just simply click on add a calendar and just choose whichever email you normally or typically use i mainly use gmail google's email service but i also have a use service for icloud and outlook as well but mainly i use google so that's why i connected it so just simply click on connect and it'll open up a bunch of different accounts for you to choose from so you can choose those accounts and that's basically it you will be connected with calendly okay so now that you know how to you know connect your google account to your calendar account we are good to go 
now we can move over to the next step go back over to your account click on your account and over here we can go ahead and see we have a couple of different options we have admin management we have organization settings and share your link and stuff like that let's go ahead and check out admin management over here this is basically a simple tool or simple you know option that you can use whether you want to or not it's basically helpful if you have a team so if you have a team and you want all of them to you know work on calendly together then you can go ahead and do that and then basically you can invite other users as well you have your groups over here you can invite other groups so that everyone is connected and you even have templates to choose from so these are basically pretty simple templates you can go ahead and create new templates as well but these are basically time frame templates that you can create yourself so you don't have to you know use the template but it's pretty simple and you can invite users to unlock new team scheduling features starting as low as 12 dollars per user so remember guys each user that you invite you have to pay $12 for that user now I will get to pricings and stuff like that in a minute but before I do that let me just show you how it cleanly basically works so over here if we go back to the home or our dashboard this is how cleanly looks like right so this is a meeting so what happens if I click on this link that I already have cleanly.com slash when media so I click on this link this is how my you know link would look like whenever someone clicks on that link this is how it will look like this is what it was he or she will see so we can go ahead and delete this as well so let me just go ahead and delete it we can create another one so once it's deleted let's go ahead and click on new event type over here we have a couple of different options so we have one-on-one -on -one or group let's go ahead and click on create one-on-one -on -one. and over here we can name the event we can add in the location we can add in a description and we can add in the event link and then we can change the color of it as well so for now i'm just gonna go ahead and write interview i'm gonna add in the location all right this is going to be like you know in person meeting we can go ahead and add in the actual you know address if we want to but for now we'll just say near the bank building number two whatever once we do that we'll just click on done and there we go we have our address then we can add in a description about this interview or about this stuff and once it's done we can just simply choose the color we want so i'm gonna choose purple for now or let's go with green yeah then click on next and then over here you have some more options so date range invite scan schedule so we have 60 and calendar date into the future within a range so the 60 is quite a lot so we'll just go with seven yeah or actually no let's go with two days and then the duration will be how long will this event be for as long as 12 hours so we'll just say 30 minutes i think is enough how do you want to offer your availability for this event we have our hours over here working hours are fine everything looks good we can add what want to add time before or after the event yes we will add time but we'll just add like five minutes and once that's done we'll just click on next and there we go our event has been created we can go ahead and go back click on back and check out on our home screen here we go so we have 30 one-on-one -on -one interviews with five minute interval before and after it's done so that the next person or you can be ready so this is how it basically done you can go ahead and create a new calendly or event or you know a new event by clicking on the create button over here as well you can create an event type one-off meeting meeting poll whatever or you can click on new event over here and then you can edit it out as i showed you right now so now let me just show you the billings or the pricing of it all right so let me just see over here so right now as you can see we have the essentials we have the professional we have the team and when we have the enterprise so each of them have different prices the basic one starts at eight dollars the professional starts at 12 and the team start at 16 and for the enterprise you have to talk to them so in essentials you have two calendar connections google icloud whichever software you choose you can create unlimited events you can create unlimited one-off meetings you can connect your google meets go to meet microsoft teams webex zoom web conferences you can get meeting reminders automated event notifications customize your booking add calendly to your website add branding to your booking page connect to slack help center member support and all of that good stuff and then all of that you get into the professional one as well but you get to create six calendar connections per person whatever google or you know whatever service you choose from create unlimited 
event types, customize email and text messages. You get notifications when someone booked, automate all event messaging and send from your Gmail, customize your confirmation page and send invites to your websites once they book. You remove cleanly branding, access over 700 app integration with Zapier. You can connect to HubSpot and MailChimp. You have custom integrations with Webhook. You can track with Google Analytics and Facebook Pixels, collect payments via Stripe and PayPal, live chat support, all, all of that. So I think Professional One provides you quite a lot of different things. And it's only $12, which is like $4 more than the Essential One. So, And they provide you with a lot of things. So I think the, this is the most popular one in my opinion so you can go ahead and read all of the other stuff as well but i think that the professional one is better for you but if you are just trying it out they also give you free access as i have said right now you can go ahead and buy it if you want to if not you you can totally use the free version as well so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and having said that i'll see you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye